Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and look what I have, a Cricuts embosser. This thing is so cool. Um, let me just show you, I'm not going to show you how to run it in the machine. It works just like the gel pens. You use your, um, your gel pens carrier that you put into your machine and just like the pens, it's magnetic and it will uh, slip right inside. It's got a thicker end, which is great for um, using on metal, and the thinner end, which is fantastic on vellum. So let me just show you an example of a card I just did on uh, using metal. Um, don't mind my sewing. I'm a terrible sewer, and I attempted, I failed. <laughs> um, but this is from, uh, graphically speaking, Cricut Cartridge, and I just did, using my Gypsy, mirror imaged the um, USA uh, image, and cut or embossed it with the red metal that's going to be available soon on the Cricut's uh, website. So um, once I did that, then I just took a very fine, um, soft nail file and just went across the top of that to bring out the silver that's the um, underneath the the uh, metal. So super fun to work with. The other thing it's great with is vellum, and these are just a couple of samples I did. Uh, that I'm going to be using this one in different sizes and I used the uh, Cindy Lou Cricut cartridge for these so I just went ahead and um, did them in two different sizes uh, well the uh, bird sitting in a tree is on two different sizes and this is just another tree uh, image that I did so I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna go ahead and make a card using this and um, this is the vellum with the uh, thinner point on the embosser. So let's get started. Um, I'm just going to use a one and a half inch circle punch and I'm going to go ahead and cut out my, well, I'm not going to use my one and a half, I'm going to use my two inch and I should be using a circle punch but I'm just going to use my scallop. It doesn't really matter because this is going to be behind a layer. So I'm just cutting that out and this is actually run uh, at one and three quarters inch. I did it at two inches originally but one and three quarters seems to fit perfectly with the um, one and a half inch circle punch so and we're going to be using that so so that is my vellum and I could even go ahead and ink over this use some the uh, Tim Holtz distress ink and just ink over this if I wanted to but I'm going to leave it just like this so okay for the card um, let's start with our base first I'm good this is an eight and a half by eleven sheet of uh, cardstock I'm just going to use my paper trimmer here and I'm going to trim this in half so it's five and a half inches, just like that. And we only need one piece of that. And then I need my score pal because I'm going to create my uh, fold line. So there's my score pal, and of course my bone folder has gone missing, so I'm just going to use this one. at least to get it going a little bit. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so that's the base of our card. And then I cut out a piece of pattern paper. This is um, from My Mind's Eye, My Mind's Eye collection. And I'm just going to go and punch using the uh, one and a half inch punch. And I just put it in all the way in towards the bottom corner here. And I just don't need that piece because I'm going to now take my piece of vellum that I uh, embossed and adhere that to the back of my piece here. So that'll go right on here. So I'm just going to use some Tombow multi-adhesive. I'm just going to put a nice little thin bead of glue going right around here. And then I'll go ahead and add my silhouette on here and I just want to make sure that I have it going in the right direction. And just hold it down for a second just to get it to it here. Okay. So there we go. Isn't that neat? See that? You'll see it better when it's on the brown cardstock. So the next thing I'm going to do is because I want to put a little outline or um, a scallop circle going around that, I'm just going to take my one and a half inch circle punch, same punch I used to punch out right here, punch that, and then I'm going to take my two inch 
scallop circle and center the hole in the center of my scallop and punch that out. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my Tombow adhesive again and just put a little bead going around here. And that gets adhered right to here. Just like that. Okay? So now when it goes on to the top of my brown cardstock, the vellum's going to stick out really nice. Okay? So let me go ahead and adhere that down. I'm just going to use some of my Tombow Mono Adhesive. And I'll center that right on the front of my card. And by the way, this pattern piece is cut at four inches by five and one quarter. There we go. There's that. And now I'm just going to add some satin ribbon to this. And I cut this pretty big because I am going to attempt to tie a bow. Okay, so it took a little bit of work, but I did get my bow tied, and now what I'm going to do is just add some of these crystals to my project here. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay those right down on my card, just like this. And then the last thing I'm going to add is this little uh, Prima flower. That I, and I already put it together and added a brad and I'm just going to go ahead and use some glue dots and glue those right down to the bottom. So this is a perfect card for any occasion. Okay, so I just added a glue dot to the back of my flower here and just add those right that right to the front of my card. So that's the front of my card, but I wanted to show you one more thing. This is really cool recognize this? If you've been to my website, you'll see this is the banner on my website and also on my YouTube channel. Cricut will be coming out with a um, with some stamps that you can use that are uh, self-inking and this is so cool because now I have something to put on the back of my my projects as I'm done. So let me just show you what I do with mine. So I just uh, all you do is just take the bottom off and you can see this is really neat. I've never seen um, a stamp like this so super cool and you just go ahead and stamp your image and then I just take my um, let's see I had one out before. Oh here let's use this one. This is a ticket punch that I just bought not too long ago and it fits perfectly in here. It also works great with the scallop by uh, scallop oval punch. And usually what I do is I ink it, distress it a little bit. I'm not going to do that now, but then what I do is just go ahead and adhere that right to the back of my projects. So make sure you check out the Cricut's website because these will be coming out soon as well as some other great new products they're going to be doing. So thanks for watching another episode of Craisins with Christina. See you next time. Bye.